Well, folks, how's it going? Hopefully you're having a fantastic day. Hopefully your day is going better than ours. Oh, wait, I got a little water spot on the lens. We got some precipitation happening. We were on our way to go just go grab a tripod and come back. And, well, this is what happened. We've got a flat tire that looks like that. And no idea how. But what's also funny is we have another flat tire. So whatever these factory tires are, honestly, they're not great. What happened was we climbed this hill. So my house is over there. We climbed it. There's sticks that stick up through there that we've taken the mini truck both mule four-wheelers pickup trucks we've taken everything over that no problem we crossed it popped this tire I was like all right let's limp it back as I was turning it around the other one went completely flat I'm not sure if that one has a hole or not or if it just lost air because that one had a bunch of pressure on it but either way we're stranded right now I've never just gotten a flat I've gotten one flat tire on a mule but it was like a slow leak nothing really big like I've never I mean imagine if we were just like in the middle of nowhere right now like what if you weren't by the house what if you weren't what if we were way you know two miles deep into the farm like what would you do two flat tires Tires. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not impressed right now with this deal. I mean, you can blame user all you want, but like we've we've taken mules on way rougher terrain. I mean, we were in grass and literally some twigs, and we have two flat tires now. So hey, hope you're having a better day than us. Uh, we were actually gonna pick up the video when we went down to the animals. We do have an exciting video. We've got a new toy coming in this afternoon that we're gonna be waiting for. Hopefully, it works better than these tires. But we're now we're have to walk back. And luckily, we've got some tools with us that we were actually gonna use to change the tires. We got today's just a tire changing day. We got to change the tires on the livestock trailer because we're planning on getting some more animals soon but we've got to now walk back it's not that far maybe half mile quarter mile and what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the wheels off of one of the other mules we have the ones that actually don't pop and take them off of that put that mule on block and come out here take these two off put the other two new ones on so we can use this guy because it's obviously nicer we've got the doors we got the heat and everything ready to rock and on I want to use it and then we're gonna take these tires and rims to the dealer and tell them to get me some different tires that don't pop when you run over twigs and then and at some point we'll bring them back and rechange all the tires but that's pretty much what we're going to be starting with um like i said we've got a new toy coming later this afternoon we also have some chores to get done and millie and lucy are i don't know lucy's i think still on quail duty she's she's all all amped up about the quail right now hey i just had to give you guys an update starting the day off two flat tires freaking sick let's head back to the house take the tires off that mule come back hopefully get them changed i'm hoping the the rim size matches you guys stay tuned all right, folks, we don't have the floor jack that we wanted, but we've got, they call it like the, I don't know, like a scissor jack, I guess, but we don't really have the right. We've got these, but that's still, that's not, that's for my truck, which is for like a different one. And, uh, oh, this is the contraption I came up with. When we say ocean approved, we mean it. So what you got here is you got the old carabiner, then you got the eye bolt with the connecting ring. You got your good old fashioned drill and you stick that in there. Give her the old Titan. Then when you want it to go up, you can't tell me that's not the most genius thing you've ever seen. There's no way it works though, right? Let's see. We'll, we're gonna try to jack up this mule first and see if it works. It's right in the middle, we can pop both tires off. If not, we can always put a block on it. I don't know if it's tall enough. Let's, we'll see, watch how fast this goes. Oh God. Okay, well, we, we, okay, so you need to do is you need to invent a swivel. Oh, oh my rip. God. Okay, well, it worked for a second, okay? There you go. Hey, whoever said I was stupid, you know what you're talking about. Look at this. This is the greatest thing I've ever seen. Are we off the ground? Close. No, oh, we're close. Here, right, let go. Okay. Hook that doohickey on there like that, son. Then give her the old tighten up. See? That's what I was trying to make, and it, I, we figured it out. Dude, look at that. I'll tell you what, this is the best thing I've ever come up with, hands down. Give her the old yank. Yank. Hey, this one's not flat. Really? That's interesting. Hey, I'll do one. There you go. I mean, it works. It's on blocks. And this thing, this is my new favorite toy. I'm just gonna carry this thing around wherever I go. I'll put it on my shoulder and, hey, Flair's Tire Repair Service coming to a farm near you. Anyways, we're gonna take these tires, pray to God that they fit on the other mule, get them changed out, and be ready to rock and roll. Doesn't. Really? No, it's barely off. It's, I mean, it, you're talking a quarter yep, inch. Yep, really. Quarter inch. It's like almost. Players and Can Am, I'll give it to them both. They have it both, they have it both figured out because now we're f What do you do? Rip. Talk about out of commission. This is just a cluster. Well, I guess we're not using this mule today. It's gonna sit here until we can get some new tires. So let's we'll go put these other tires back on the other mule and get the video started. You guys stay tuned. Shoo! 
Well, folks, surprise, we fixed this guy. Here's kind of what happened. When we bought it from the dealership, they did not inflate the tires. Now, I mean, the operator's gotta take responsibility there. We should have checked the PSI prior to taking it out, but I assumed buying it off the floor, it would have enough tire pressure to uh, keep the tires on the rims, which didn't have. So I ended up calling, not the same dealer I bought it from, I, call, I called a different dealer that I've worked with before and asked them and they're like, yeah, honestly, like they've actually had issues with these tires doing that. They literally just like dismount. So I was like, man, maybe we didn't pop them. Maybe we just, cause like, how do you pop two, right? That doesn't make sense. So we ended up grabbing these, inflating them, checking it. They have no holes whatsoever. And then we ended up running it back up there, putting on, I think like I didn't want to film that cause you guys have already seen us messing around with, uh, you know, tires and stuff enough, but we got the mule ready to rock and roll again, hoping as long as we keep them inflated and the backs ones were super low as well. They didn't look, visually look like it, but when you check the PSI, you could tell. So we're ready to go. We got her back. And, um, the next project here is cleaning out the old shed. This shed here, uh, it's been, this was here when I, I move here so as you can see it's I mean we got a heck of a mess this is stuff from the old old pond we just need to kind of wrap it all up a lot of that stuff over there is like scrap wood and materials that I will I always thought oh maybe one day I'll you know, I, I'll never use all, any of that so we need to get rid of this because I need to be able to park the mini excavator the skid loader um and maybe some other stuff in here so i want it's a it's a decent building it's a decent shape there's like a couple holes but not much and really it's just been a junk pile this is actually decent we we kind of have organized this and put the shelves in but that has been there since i've moved here there's no reason to really have that mess so we're gonna go ahead and, and clean this up we've got the trailer back to ooh, cool. ready for your inspection or what Really? I'm not a yeah. doctor, but I'll take a look. This guy, classic, classic. But we've got the uh, this thing right here, dump trailer. So load it up, and so we can haul this stuff out of here. Clean, basically, it's just kind of a little bit of a chore today. We have more chores to do, but since it's raining, we're not gonna do it. It's it's with the uh, the hay and the barns and the animals, but it would just be too sloppy. So uh, I don't really wanna do that today, but we are gonna work on the shed today. So the next goal, basically, with the chores is to get all that cleaned up. Oh God, dude, there's a rat, bro. Rat, 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 giant rat, giant rat. Rat. Giant, rat. giant rat, giant oh rat, giant, dude, giant, giant. I, I, I think, I think you guys saw it, dude. I mean, I've never seen a rat in person that like huge. that, dude. He's huge, bro. Banjo, go beat his ass. Go get him, Banjo, dude. He's huge, dude. You ever seen, a, you ever seen a rat like that? Oh god, oh god. Oh, you might, you guys might see us find a rat. I, I'm pretty sure you guys saw it. He ran across. I've never seen a rat. I've seen lots of mice, raccoon, possums, you name it. I've never seen a giant rat. <sighs> that thing is like the size of a muskrat. Eee, that's just disgusting. But we got that. So you guys enjoy the time off of us getting the shop cleaned up. I would also like to get electricity in here. I know actually that is that power. I think should work. I just need to get some new lights. But I, I that fan. Uh, no, See, it works if you do that. But if we have some lights in here, maybe put a door on this. Like, it's actually a decent building. So, anyways, uh, well, let's go ahead and get this guy cleaned out. We got so much more room in here. So this is a bunch of wood that we wanted to keep because wood is super expensive right now and you never know when you need scrap wood. Some old shelves that maybe one day we'll use it, probably won't. Uh, some other machinery stuff here. We got fluff, uh, hunting blinds, a, uh, that's the old windmill Banjo bought me when I moved in here. Never put it together. Uh, then we've got the straw moped, the old bro pad. And that's pretty much it, but we cleared it all out. I mean, it's still obviously is messy, like dirty wise. I mean, we can sweep all this out, but got it organized enough to where, hey, we can get the excavator in here. We can get the skid loader in here and probably something else honestly if we need if we needed to store like a boat or, or something like that that's the idea i want to keep the expensive machines out of the elements don't really want them sitting out getting snowed on and stuff i mean it's not going to ruin it but it's just one of those things that you want to kind of protect so we got it done but i did not expect this if you guys want to see how much crap we are throwing out it is way more way more than i expected it is an entire dump trailer's worth like full to the brim i mean you've got weed whackers this stuff i would say 90 percent of this is stuff that isn't mine that came with the house when i bought it but it's one of those things like you're like oh maybe one day but if you go a year and you don't use it probably should just chuck it out but keep it for a year you never know um uh, but a lot of this is just junk i thought about actually throwing a lot of the metal stuff in the pond for structure for like next year type thing but a lot of it was pretty sharp and we're worried hey you're probably gonna cut your cut your line so we got everything loaded up we're gonna haul it off to the local dump site dump it all off and uh 
that's pretty much the project for the oh wait we got one more thing we gotta tires. change we gotta change the tires change three tires on that trailer and then we've got a new toy it should be actually here by now because this has been taking forever yeah I bet, I bet it's delivered by now so that being said you guys stay tuned <laughs> Melee, good job helping us. Good job. High five, buddy. High five, yep, high five. Come on, up, come on, high five. There you go, yeah, good job. Thanks for helping us. Lucy, you taking a nap, buddy? Anyways, we are done, folks. How's that going? Yeah, you need a little break. He's learning how to you look like a construction worker. Anyone ever tell you that? You got that, that Amish looking beard. You look like Abraham Lincoln <laughs> over here. That's fine. And that, look at that, it's spinning around. Let me get the yeah, shoe, the old beef cake. Anyway, speaking of shoe, shoe. The actual point of this video we're getting to, but dude, it got cold and windy. Like, look at that flag giving it a dangle out there. It's like, it went from probably, what do you think it was before? Like 55 today 55. to like 32 and freaking windy near and heck so we're gonna have to improvise we were thinking about rescheduling this and doing like finishing this video tomorrow but it's gonna be equally as cold so we've got to get it done today with that being said this is the new toy new crossbow okay this guy I've wanted for quite some time now finally got it and we're gonna get excited and we've got a couple target to shoot uh, that being one the bag over there and then we also have the uh, the deer sitting up there doing deer things so we got to get sighted in um, this one's cool because you can actually use there's a crank and you attach it to the side I'll show you guys in a minute and like you crank basically Basically, you crank the, uh, to, to load it, you crank it versus like pushing, pulling on like a string. Um, and it's really small. Like, can we get a BK comparison here? Really? Look how small that, it looks Pew -pew. like a foreign, like something you'd play with in Halo or something. You know what I'm saying? Like it's, look, it looks good. And it shoots, I think it shoots 430 FPS. I'm pretty sure. Really? Um, how many yards is that? Feet per second. Yeah. How many yards? How many yards is four? What'd you do? 100 30? and something. I don't know. That's a lot of yards. Quickly. It's a lot of yards. I'm not sure, honestly. I can't do that math. But basically, that is going to be a deer shooting machine here uh, coming up soon. Um, as you guys know, we don't use compound bows. Uh, I, oh, I can use like the bow fishing setup, but like with the deer, can't. I've got a problem with my shoulder. Anyways, it just it is what it is. But that is going to be the new rig. Hey, this uh, isn't very sharp. It don't need to be sharp, Rick. We're not shooting deer with that. What if I like took that thing squirrel hunting? How sick would that be? <laughs> you blow them to pieces. You Headshot. Stick Tree. Yeah, you stick him in the tree. Like a kebab. Squirrel kebab. I like the idea if you guys want to see that. But we're going to go ahead and get excited, and then we're going to play a little bit of a game here and see who can score the most points. Some of the point system for hitting the heart, the liver, the lung, and stuff like that. So with that being said, let's see how this bad boy shoots. So the nice thing about this, these guys thought about the left-handed folks like myself, where you can reel it from that side or that side. So on the left side, what you do is you take this little handle, shove it in there. You got to kind of relieve the pressure, flip that button, and then it basically releases the slide catching thing. This thing slides all the way down and it's gonna grab the string. You're gonna hear a click. Oh, like that. Let go of that button, put your little turn handle back on, and you're gonna hear it crank. And if you're thinking, well, the deer are gonna hear that, you just push this button. See, that's silent, but you gotta let go of it for it to lock in. So go ahead and crank it all the way up. Just like that. Take that off. Yeah, take your arrow, white down like that the interesting thing so we ha we've shot this one before that you gotta hear that 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 tick uh, otherwise it will not fire so it's ready i mean look it's just a little calm i would feel like i just like want to walk around in the woods and just why you walk like that i feel like that's how like a cod character would walk or like an in halo what was the uh i feel like there was a gun that looked like this in halo anyone else but halo i was a playstation guy i'm a big halo guy is, I can't figure this out. <laughs> He's like, no, you're an idiot. This looks like nothing. Uh, oh, it's this oh, the, bl the, the ballistic crossbow. That would make sense. Oh, that's, oh, that's it. it. Idea. Flaming. Yes. Air. Wrap it in in like some it. type of rag. Put it, put soak it in diesel and light it and shoot flaming arrow. You shoot it out of gas tank. I'm so down. Like we okay. That's gonna happen. Anyways, let's get this bad boy sided up. You boys ready for this moment? This is this is really steady. This is great. I like this. <laughs> Flipper to fire. Melee. Melee. Get out of the, come here. Go see Banjo. Come here. Go see Uncle Banjo. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, you're probably scared of this thing. Aim for the center of the square block target and adjust accordingly. This is probably 20 yard shot. Ooh! Ooh! That was close, boys. Had low? That'd be about it. Maybe a little left? It's as wobbly as I am, honestly, like. 
you're pretty much on it. I will bump it up a couple and just a little right. right. Let's do one more to confirm, and then it's game on. It's okay. I'm not shooting you. You're my hunting pal. Wait, that's Lucy. It's okay. <laughs> Why? I don't need to shoot. You're fine. Go sit in the mule. Go sit in the mule. Cover your ears. It's not like it's... Look at her. <laughs> Cover you. your ears, Melly. We got sight and end to do. I'm going to aim for the top right one so I just so I don't like screw up the other arrow in case it hits it. Not that I'd be that good to do that, but you never know. Rip. Crank your back left a and few. And a little high. <laughs> so we shouldn't have done nothing is what you're telling me. No, that was a, that was a steady shot. Really? Yeah. Look at that flag. Just get it. It also probably doesn't help that we got 40 mile an hour wind out there either. All right, here we go. I'm going to aim top left. Ooh, that's about right. Let me throw it a little to the left. All right, we're good. Banjo, yeah. you shot a crossbow? Yeah, once. When? I was like an eighth grader. Why would you know what, and what grade? Why not just be like I was 15, eighth grade? Who's, Why? Who's 15 in the eighth grade? What? I don't know how old you are in the eighth grade. Oh my goodness, you held back? That's what I was doing, you were held back. No, I wasn't held back, I'm just kidding. No, 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 I graduated my class. No, I did barely. Uh, crop that you have, eighth yeah. grade Y. What were you doing? Who, whose was it? My uncle's. You were just like, let me yeah. shoot but it. But it was like the one like you had to do like that. That sucks, it right? Like oh, that's yeah. that's the old good, nice. that's a good one there. About you, you shoot one no, before? You shot one before, Zach? Real. So we got a banjo. As if it's any different than a gun. No, I, I mean, it's the same. Millie, you're gonna make it. It's gonna be okay. So here's what we're gonna do. We've got, I'm gonna go show you the deer target. Uh, we already broke it, so that's sick. We got a coyote target too, but we'll probably save that for a different video. It's just too windy to sit out here and do it. This also is not for uh, crossbows. and we really hard to get out, but yeah, the, the, the legs, it's giving it one of these guys right now, so we're gonna try to, there you go. So, we got liver, we got lung, and we've got heart, okay? It's harder to shoot the liver than it is the lung, so we're gonna go, actually, that's probably the hardest. So we're probably gonna go one point for the lung, two points for the heart, and three points for the liver, just because of the, look what you did. Why would you do this? Millie, I had it perfect. No, no, I don't, listen, guy. It's gonna be all right. You're gonna make it. It's just a crossbow. It's not even legit. It's not even a legit pew. Okay. It's just a crossbow. Anyway, so one, two, three. We're gonna see who out of these three boys can uh, score the most points. Millie, tell these guys what to do. Tell them. Tell them. You stay tuned. Stay tuned. Banjo's getting the old roulette wheel out. Thought he was doing big business things. Millie, what are you eating? Why are you eating a stick, dude? I can't tell you how cold it is right now. Like my my nipples are hard. Like this. Really? Is, this is Cut a, this diamonds is over there. Absolute, what? Hey. Did anyone ask? No, I no. Didn't. Zach was thinking it though. <laughs> <laughs> we, we all know. All right, go ahead and spin the. Is this who's going first? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. okay, okay, okay. So the the liver's three points because it's really? smaller than the heart on that. It's like a Interesting. sliver. Interesting. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it looks like banjo. Or... Ooh, nah, ooh, oh, banjo. oh, that'd be Uncle Banjo. Give her hell there, Ricky. So is the liver all the way to that side? Correct. You I might mean, be able to see it. I have never shot you might be able to see it. A headshot. A headshot. Yeah, a headshot? I yeah. don't think you're getting the arrow back because it'll probably go right through it. What if you uh, that leg yeah, that, I mean, if you hit that leg, it, honestly, as soon as it, as soon as an arrow hits it, it's probably gonna fall over anyway. So it's just that thing sucks. I don't know. We need to glue it or we need to do something. But you know, how, you know, how work this thing. No, which way do we go? Okay, so you gotta. Yep. Like you're gonna crank it and then you gotta press the button. Okay. So crank. Actually, you're gonna crank it. You gotta relieve the pressure. Try the other way. Nope. Try the other way. There you go. Yep. Now let go. Yep. No. 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 Oh, no. no. You, you gotta. Yep. Yep. You gotta. Yep. 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 You gotta go up. So then... it's like a boat. But it's like winching your boat, right? Okay. How you have to relieve yeah. the pressure. So then you push the button. And then up. it should go. It'll. You'll know when it goes in. And then. Yep. 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 And then you do the old. Not you gotta so keep much. the button pushed. Oh, Hold that button. These are simple too, instructions. Too many steps. Too many <laughs> you lost yeah. me. Cool. You crank with your right hand? Yeah, Damn, dexterous. Really? <laughs> You're seeing a grown man crank with both hands? That's impressive. What's the, what's the name of, uh, this is this is trivia. What's this called? Oh my goodness. What's arrow. this called? You, what happened? You threw something at me. <laughs> it, the script. What's this called? It's an arrow. No, it's not. What's it called? Uh, I, it's not an arrow. I know, but... What do you mean? It, it, the shaft? No, it's not an arrow. For a crossbow, they're not called arrows. Oh, really? Yeah, no. Oh, oh see, I only right. know bow terminology. Really? What, you don't... What is it? Yeah. Bolt. Right. It's a really? bolt. Is that killed? I used to work at Shields. I didn't know these things. Really? Yeah. All right, so okay. who came up with that name? Really? I don't know. It's that's a bolt. Because they're, they're, they're short and stubby. So the old bolt. All right. White feather down. Shove it till it clicks. Yep. You're in. Now, Perfect. safety, fire, letter E, Junior. Are we all doing it freehand? Like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't rest? Yeah, no rest. Fire when ready. Oh, you might have got the heart. You might. What were you aiming for? I aimed a little to the right. Rip. I was aiming more oh, to the oh, you got it right in the middle too. 
That's that's a dead deer. That's two. Two. All right. I'll that's a it. dead deer. Yeah, dead so center. I was aiming like there. It might be. I was, be a, off. I was a little wobbly. You're, you're a little so. wobbly. Free hand. So. Dude, what in the Heck center? Yeah. That is a dead deer. Banjo's lethal with this sucker. All right. Well, I would say for the sake of this thing staying structurally sound, we should shoot the other two okay. before trying to pull any. Yeah. Because if we try to pull that out, not gonna end well for us. So Banjo's got two points. Oh, oh we got. Zach. Looks like Zach. You're up. Right. It means you got to get the liver shot or tie it up with banjo. Zach's ready. He has not shot one of these before. Sure. You should hear like a little click. Yeah. There you go. Yep. yep. That's it. So I'm going for... You got to go for the liver if you're going to win. Yeah, otherwise Lucy. you're going to tie it. Lucy, 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 Lucy. Come here, Lucy. This is a big moment. How about you just go lay down? Go, go, go play. Go play with your sister. Come here, Millie. Over here. Come on, come on, come on, come on. All right. Oh, so it's the top bubble. <laughs> like at 20 yards is what I would shoot at. All right. Oh, rip! Oh, oh right. <laughs> he, he hit the old shoulder. Yeah, I think that's a wounded deer. Oh, that's God. that's uh, yeah, that's not that's not a deer. Where, were you were you steady? I was going for the head. <laughs> really? Where, what were you aiming for? No, I was going for the liver. So <laughs> it's either not sided or you were shaking like I was a leaf. Shaking. You were shaking. Was really? Wow. Because you were. Did you think yours was pretty good? Like it did you feel a like little it was left. Little, but, little but I mean, I wasn't very. Scared. You weren't also stable. Yeah. So. yeah. yeah. You were just. Oh, you, okay. Well, I mean. We'll see. I just let it fly. Just let you just let her eat. That's all that matters. You got one more. I got the lead right right jet. He's up. got the lead. So you can just hit the lung and you're not gonna win. What you if can I hit the heart and tie with banjo. Do we shoot again? Sword fight. Really. Rock, paper, scissors. That's how you no, solve I all that shit. Right. Really? I think you gotta shoot. I mean, if you wanna lose, sure. Oh, really? See, I now mean, you gotta be. I mean, sure. Yeah. If you wanna lose, you gotta, I mean, like, I mean I'll play, play if you want me to. If you guys want me to play, but. Millie, Millie, Millie. All right, go ahead and give her the old load and see what happens. You ready? Oh god. Yeah. Oh god, it's on fire. Easy. Oh, there, I'm ready. Easy. I'm all right, ready. so you gotta get that liver or tie it up for the heart. If you get the lung, banjo wins. Oh boy, a lot of pressure. No pressure. No pressure. Oh, <laughs> really? Wait, wait. <laughs> did it get bumped? Did it get bumped? Because I was dead center of that target. Okay, so yeah. something that happened. Right. <laughs> how did, how, okay, everyone was aiming at the same thing. It, it was at the right height. Wait, like, the same height. how does it, how did it get bumped that bad? There's no, because, okay, so here's my side end shot. Started there. That was, excuse me. Ex hey, 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 Chunky. Excuse me, excuse me. That was my second. No, no. Why are you like this? You are so needy. That was my second and third shot. So it's close. So, Banjo got heart. <laughs> Zach got the old uh, brisket there. And you got the old rump. I was literally aiming right here. I think I'm just that good. Dead center of the liver. I, I feel like I've got to shoot it now. I feel like I got to shoot it. Here's, how about this? If I shoot it and I hit the block, you win. All right. If it's like way off, not saying I'm better than it, but oh, hey, no, <laughs> eat quit the eating the arrow. No, don't eat, the, don't eat the arrow. Rip. Did they, no, stop it. I don't think so. Hey, 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 can I, can you stop for two seconds? Just relax for two seconds. All right, so let's get these out. I'm gonna right, take a shot. Time. If I hit the Grab block, Banjo there. wins. Do you think, should I go offhand, or is this just to confirm that the bow is on? Just confirm the bow is on. So, use a rest. Yeah, you be steady okay. as you can. Okay. Lucy, stay. Ciao, Lucy. Lucy, come, on, come back. Yeah, you guys suck. Really? Am I not shaky? Yeah. You're shaky. Yeah. And you guys say I'm the shaky. We got, we got it. That is true. We always say yeah, he's shaky. Saying, I have shaky hands. I was just aiming for the middle. I wasn't yeah. aiming for anything. But I mean, I was aiming like right about here. So it's it's off a little, but really? I mean, not not that much. He's used to wow. It. I used to cranking it. That's all I gotta yes. say about that. Well, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. Hopefully, uh, if you enjoyed, and if you did, let me know in the comment section down below because we'll do it again. We've got another decoy, coyote decoy, um, that we'll use, and we can break this guy. We, we obviously need to zero it. Like this is at. 20 yards and it's not super accurate we need a non-windy day sit down rest it get it zeroed in at 100 yards so we can go take it out deer hunting so if you're excited about this new toy going out deer hunting let me know in the comment section down below hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video we'll catch you next one